welcome to the Media Arts Space Checkout Room. This video is a brief introduction and offers some tips when using our Blackmagic Pocket 4K Cinema Camera Kit. This small camera replicates the look of high quality film while remaining accessible. Despite its accessibility, there are still some things you should know in preparation as keys to success when shooting with this beautiful piece of hardware. This kit contains a body, an 85mm lens, a 25mm lens, four batteries with a battery charging cradle, a high speed SD card, and a charging cable. This kit will also have an optional external monitor included as well for a brighter display. Do not forget your tripod with this one. This cinema camera is not designed for run and gun shooting. It does not have any stability features built in and neither do your lenses, so bring your own stabilization. One more thing about the lenses. They both have fixed focal lengths, no zoom. Be sure to be prepared ahead of time with a shot list and camera placements because you do not want to be wasting precious time lining up a shot. I'm not just speaking of your time on set, but rather your time having power. Unfortunately for this device, power management is its least accessible feature. You'll be getting four batteries in the kit as well as a dual charging station. Be sure that all four batteries are fully charged before your shoot. Each battery on a full charge should give you about 25 to 45 minutes of power, but they can be rather unpredictable even when you think they're fully charged, so beware and have backups. And it might be your safest bet to keep two of the batteries on the charger during the shoot if possible. When using the AC adapter, pay close attention to all of the pinholes when plugging in, as well as safely unlocking before pulling the plug out. Alright, our batteries are charged, we chose our lens, and our SD card is in. Let's boot up. To format your card, just tap the bottom of the screen that shows your inserted card. Choose XFAT just in case you need to switch between Mac and PC for any reason. Then press and confirm by holding the format button for 3 seconds and you're good to go. Although there is a playback feature, you are unable to delete clips within the camera. It's all or nothing. To access the record settings, press the button with 3 lines. When choosing your codec and quality, be mindful of storage space and where you plan to edit your footage. Your safest bet will be ProRes 422, as it will work on all devices and editing softwares in our labs. Blackmagic RAW can potentially save you some memory space with an 8 to 1 or 12 to 1 bitrate, but it will only edit in DaVinci or if a special plugin is installed into Adobe Premiere. Some computers may have this, but there is no guarantee. Image resolution is selected in this menu as well. You can access multiple pages if they are available in each section by pressing the side arrows. Choosing your dynamic range will depend on the level of color correcting you wish to do in post. Video gives you the color baked in, whereas film gives you more control in editing as to how you want the colors to actually appear. Extended video is somewhere in between. On the second page of the setup menu, you'll be able to adjust the function buttons located on the top of the camera. This will allow you to have an easy toggle for features like zebra bars, focus assist, and guidelines. You can also use them to set preset values to some of the camera settings as well. These do not get wiped out with card formatting, so it is possible they will be different every time you check one out. The ISO, shutter speed, and white balance can all be easily adjusted with the buttons on top of the camera. Do not forget to set the white balance for your scenes. One last cool and somewhat complicated feature in this camera is its dual ISO capabilities. To boil it down to basics, this camera will interpret footage as if it were two different cameras depending on which ISO settings you are at. Shooting from 100 to 1000 ISO will process differently than shooting from 1250 and up. The higher ISOs can eliminate grain in low light areas and can also give more control for mid-tones when paired with a smaller iris or higher shutter speeds. A more detailed explanation can be found in a video from Filmmaker IQ. A link can be found in the details. Now get out there and make some videos. We'll see you in the checkout room.